Ultra undercover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Saab. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Purpose. Sounds more like bullshit to me. How do you get tangled up with the Sarve anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. You certainly seem to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Chris, what? Damn it. The rebels took that site. Won't unless we ask nicely. Right, you're the military expert. What's the Saab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our trek. Oh, hold up. Look there, one of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Shiva. He was the god of destruction, right? Yes. But maybe not in the way you're thinking. Not literal destruction, then? That, but also in a more positive sense, like losing the ego, ditching bad habits. Shedding old attachments. Exactly. It should do the trick. Okay. Going. Going. Let's get inside. 
do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Right. In we go. Ah. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Not there. Correction. Our climbing gear. than most men. I thought we were talking about something. We are. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does.
That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh shit, statue moved again. I think that did it. Come on over. Coming. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. Huh? A star, and rings. They're all voice for us. I like your descriptions better. on the statues and symbols.
Well, that one whizzed by. Okay, so far so good. Fresh air. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient Hoysalar jigsaw puzzle? we turn this crank and see what happens next. I think it's safe. You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> relief carved into the side of that mountain and you were worried 
we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. But you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort in the lake bed is certainly worth a look. And probably that fort above the waterfalls. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's head back to the car. Lake bed and water. Roger that. <laughs> hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, the rubbles haven't left this spot. Yeah. Mm. I... It's them! It's coming! Uh, they spotted us! fights and drives away, lives to fight another day. All right. And we were talking about... Oh, right. There's a plus side to people wanting to see you fail. Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? I feel like stretching my legs. Right, Theo. What is this place? You got me. Fraser, over here. Look. What? What is it? Monkey. 
You seem excited. I like monkeys. What have we here? Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. Interesting. Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. Is that one of the spots on the map? Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Look at that bracelet. It must have belonged to one of their queens. Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. <sighs> Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. Chuckers, shoot. Oh, you're no fun. What, you want them shitting all over the seat? <laughs> Looks safe. Smells safe. Let's go. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Asav's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then.
Azov's men might be around. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. That's very good. Oh, well. I figured if we were looking for his task, I should read up on him. Okay, well, he's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. Ah, remover of obstacles. But why the elephant's head? His father, Shiva, gave it to him. Very thoughtful. After Shiva chopped off his human head. Is the gate secured? <laughs> Not yet. Waiting on Cobra 8. I've got your back. Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. Guy down here. Safety's off. Spread out and move. Watch it! Another one down! Watch it!
think that's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. How about you? That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. Found you. Only one left. Last but not least, that should do it. Okay, back to the <laughs> wheel thing. Big wheel thing? <laughs> Big wheel thing works.
come on. Looks like we're going under. Adio. There's our faucet. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. Hello, sir. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, well, whoa. Well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm hmm? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, well, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. Well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun.
this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short controlled burst means. Right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean seriously. Just the one in the lake bed left. So close. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Maybe he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause. Wavered in the government's head. Just like all the other things. This has happened before? Oh yeah, ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to this land. We here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash girl. Hardly worth the trouble. Ow! Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice Wait. Job. Watch out. The rebels might be here already. Once more, with gusto. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. So, Parashurama... Parashurama? Marty again? Okay. Sixth avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. Hey, who's there? It's Fraser! Nadine, move! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here.
That's it. We're clear. It's probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. clear. Won't be the last of them. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. <laughs> We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a salt. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Think the source men know what they're looking for? See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me! Friends up ahead. They don't know we're here. Good. Amazing. Amazing. All things considered. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asav himself. Uh, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. Son of a bitch! We have company. Clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. <laughs> Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. That should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, please. Show me how it's done. Watch and learn. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. 
Okay, guess this isn't the way in. There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. This will be a bow. Sharama. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. <laughs> 